Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Driver Mod. My name's Anthony. We're here at the Ford Performance Racing School to do the Mustang Unleashed track day. We got the invite after getting our 2024 Mustang. All 2024 Mustangs come with an invite to the Mustang Unleashed Ford Performance Racing School. This has kind of been the culminating event for our week-long trip where we started off at Roebling Road Raceway, tracking the GT350 all day. Then we went to Mustang Week with both cars. And then we continued on up to Charlotte to come out to the Mustang Unleashed Road Course Day at the Charlotte Roval. We got a lot of stuff going on this morning. We just got fitted for our suits and helmets. Ready to get the day started. We're gonna do some classroom instruction. Then we're gonna do some uh, evasive driving. Then we're gonna do some autocrossing. And then this afternoon we'll get out on the road course. But we got the lineup of Mustangs here. took a group photo after a morning in the classroom. We are now getting the car started up, ready to go. So we're gonna start off with some morning autocross and evasive action driving. We're swapping between the EcoBoost, which is what we're in right now, and the GTs. We'll start with the EcoBoost, then we'll get in the GT, and then ultimately the dark horse on the road course. All right, so here we go. We have the EcoBoost high performance package. So that is gonna be perfect for this autocross course. I'm actually glad we ended up with the EcoBoost first because all that less weight should definitely help with the autocross and the handling. From normal to sport and track. So it's gonna shift a little more aggressively. It's gonna actually make the shifts a little quicker for you if you're doing some performance or spirited on-road drive. Hand position, nine o'clock and three o'clock, right? We don't wanna start up here with the hands and we're not gonna give you much room to turn that wheel. All right, so nine o'clock, three o'clock, gives you plenty of leverage over that wheel tones. And you know, if you hit one or whatever, we'll call that. If it's a penalty in the stop box, we'll call that. Time to go drive the autocross course. We're gonna do four laps. That last lap being the time lap. Let's see who gets the fastest lap. Now they are implying penalties for hitting cones and whatnot. So it's gonna be more important to stay, keep a clean lap. But this is where this EcoBoost performance package should shine. Let's go. The penalties for these cones now. So every cone you get is going to be a two second penalty and that adds up pretty quickly. If you're out of a small box, that is a five second penalty. So while you want to be fast, you got to be precise. All right, guys, we've done our three practice laps. We did sport mode, track mode, ran a couple 35s, didn't hit any cones. We're the last car to go. This is the final run. This is the official timed lap. So let's go. My buddy Ryan and his friend behind me, it's on. It's Pressure's on, guys. Pressure is on. Was that clean? Guys, we did our final timed run. We got a clean 35, no hit cones. So we'll see if the 35, I think it was like a 35.6 holds. If I didn't improve on that last one, I was gonna lose that. So our last run, we got a 34.10. What a run. That was, that was, that was, felt the difference there. So this next event, we're gonna be in a GT Premium and we're gonna be driving down to a simulated vehicle that stopped in the middle of the roadway and you're gonna let the automatic braking system do its thing. So we're gonna accelerate, we're gonna to get to a certain point, we're, we're gonna not do any steering input, brake input or throttle input, put our feet flat to the floor and let the car stop, slow down on its own to show you how the system works, to give you some confidence that the system will work in the event that you ever need to use it if you're not paying attention. What the car is doing is sensing a car in front of you that's at a stop or you're approaching it very quickly. The car is going to flash the dash red at you all the way across. It's big, the whole screen is going to red, red, red. Then it's going to ding, ding, ding and try and get you orally, right, audibly um, in there. And then if you still don't do anything, it's going to start to break. It's going to start pressurizing that brake system. Still hoping you're going to wake up and go up and push that brake and, and take control of the car. In keeping with the silver thing, we've got the silver GT this time. Here we go. Okay. 
guys, it worked flawlessly. As long as you don't do anything, it stops just as it should. Now, if you do intervene, if you turn the steering wheel at all, you interfere with the brake or the gas pedal, the car system will shut down. It thinks you're in control and you will punt your object. If we get to that point, like, hey, I need to get out of this lane and move, if you were on the brakes, think about what we talked about this morning in grip, we want to come off the brake pedal to free up as much grip as possible so we can make that turn. It requires a lot of steering, but it requires an aggressive steering step, okay? So it's not a big hand over hand. Now it's our turn to do this emergency lane change ABS stop. Unfortunately, the silver car is not going to be in the line, so we got to choose a different color. And scene has, we already have race red. What do we do, vapor blue or grabber blue? Let's go grabber blue. Just finished with the morning in the EcoBoost and the GTs doing the autocross course, the lane avoid, the collision avoidance, all those uh, exercises kind of give you confidence in the car, show you what it can do. So now we're just parking them up, and then this afternoon we're gonna be in the dark horses. All right, we're about to start the afternoon road course portion. We just got assigned our cars. We're in number 11 right there, double one. We're suited, ready to go. We're gonna be doing six orientation laps and then two 20 minute sessions. All right, so here's the car. There we go. We got full cages inside these things. All right, let's get her started up. Starts off a little quiet. Oh well. Like I said, we did opt for the manual. That's the only way to do something like this. We made our way to the garage area. They just sorted us into our groups. We're in group B3. They kind of use the autocross to break you up into groups so that you're kind of with people that are kind of around the same speed. So I already know who one of our partners is gonna be. I kind of expected this. Yep, I did too. I did too. It is. So, you? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Time to put the helmets on. Brakes so a little heavier on the brake than you think, just because it is 
is downhill at the minimum inertia, which is the front brake zone. And turn in, you're going to do a little rush to the brake, just a little weight on the nose, get it tucked over this red and white curving there, halfway around, keep it over the way, nice and tight, and straight through the middle. Now, right here, about three car lanes from this apex, you start feeding on the power, and it's already out of the way, and we all know that that takes a lateral load out of the exit. Nice, smooth, gradual acceleration through here, again, to another heavy brake zone. got a 2024 Mustang, whether it's an EcoBoost, GT, premium, non-premium, performance pack, whatever, definitely look out for the invite for your Mustang Unleashed invite. You can choose the road course day as we did, drag strip day, or some uh, street slash autocross driving. Learned a lot, you know, even having some sort of, you know, track experience, I can definitely tell you they took their time and taught us at least as much as you can learn in a day. Um, Everything was safe. They made, you know, I had three or four instructors in checking on me, making sure everything was safe. Because at the end of the day, if you're not being safe, then it ain't worth much. So, had a super good time. You guys definitely get out here. Stick around for the next video, where we'll show you the hot laps of these cars.